Welcome everyone to the Electric Coaches channel. A month ago I had done a video entitled Broncos Workout One. This, that's the video that you see here. And in this video I was working with the new Tudor Invisibase for the first time. In this current video that you're watching today I'm going to share with you some new developments that I found with the Tutor Invisibase. The tools that we will use for this video will be a coffee mug warmer and two sets of pliers. This first set of pliers I have in my hand, they're wide jawed pliers, but their jaws are very thin on the inside. These are the pliers that we're going to use to warm our base. We'll warm the pliers using the coffee mug warmer. The other set of pliers are also wide jaw pliers, but the inside of these jaws are very thick. And these pliers will be used for torque. These are the pliers that we will use to flatten the blade on the Invisibase. We will not heat these pliers. Before we get started tweaking our new Tudor Invisibase, we're going to start warming our pliers, which you see here resting on our coffee mug warmer. And while those pliers are warming, I want to show you the first Invisibase that I tweaked in the Broncos workout video. I want to show you how much better this base moves after it's been tweaked. Observe. Not bad movement at all. At the initial turn of the switch, the figure gets off the line of scrimmage rather quickly. And that's what I'm going to show you in this current video with the new Invisibase I'm going to tweak this base to move similar to the first base or perhaps move better. Now I want to test this base for resistance. I moved the base from the safety figure to the offensive alignment figure number 77, James Carpenter, and I matched him up against my center figure number 60, Max Unger. And this is the uh, new to the invisible base that we're going to tweak later on. Let's see what kind of resistance we're going to get out of this base right here. Not bad at all. He gained a few yards. That's a good deal. Good deal. Before we get started tweaking this new invisible base, I want to first get some vitals. The width of the blade of this base is a little larger than a half of an inch. That's about five eighths of an inch. I'm also going to measure the thickness of this blade as well. And the reasoning for this is because after we tweak this base, we want to monitor how much the blade has changed in size. Now I'm measuring the thickness of the blade. The thickness is 0.6 millimeters. So after I apply the heated pliers and my uh, torque pliers, I expect this thickness to be reduced. We now are going to do a run test. I put the new Invisibase on my other offensive lineman, number 64, J.R. Sweezy, and we're going to match it up against number 77, James Carpenter. Let's see what we get. As you can see, number 77, James Carpenter, clearly outruns number 64, J.R. Sweezy. Okay, so now let's try, let's test for resistance. See what happens. Okay, J.R. Sweezy has totally lost the battle for the line of scrimmage. So now we're going to go into 
tweaking this bass to see if we can make it better. Okay, we're now ready to apply our warm pliers to the front blade of this base. So I'm going to take the pliers like so. I'm going to grab the, the blade and I'm going to flatten it. And what I've done here is not only did I flatten this, this blade, I also removed the residue that's on this plastic when these bases come new. Now after applying our heated pliers, I now want to grab my thicker pliers and I want to apply some torque. So, I don't know if we can see it in this camera, but the plastic is clearer after applying the heat. The residue that was on this plastic has now been removed as a result of the heated pliers. So now, before I go to the back blade, I want to run some tests with this base. We want to run the base and we want to check it for resistance as well. Okay, now that I've tweaked the base, I want to measure it again. So the width of this blade is still about 5 eighths of an inch thick. So now we're going to check for the thickness of the blade. Remember when we measured the thickness of the blade before we tweaked? The thickness was 0.6 millimeters. Well now after tweaking this blade on this base, the thickness is now at 0.4 millimeters. Remember, we only tweaked the front blade of this base on the uh, JR Sweezy figure. We didn't tweak the back blade yet. So now we're going to run this base again against the James Carpenter figure. And we're also going to test the base for resistance as well. Let's see what happens. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. It's a bit slow. It's, it's still not as fast as the James Carpenter figure, but it's running a lot better. <clears throat> so now let's try uh, our resistance and see what happens. See who wins the battle. Let's uh, zoom in a bit. Move down here some. Okay, Sweezy is holding his ground a whole lot better than what he did before. Okay, let's go and get Max Unger. Let's see what happens. I'm going to bring in number 60, Max Unger. See what happens. He's holding his ground pretty good. Okay, let's try one more lineman. Remember the ITZ base that we tweaked earlier? Well, we're going to try him out against the JR Sweezy figure. Let's see what happens. Not bad at all. This base is doing better than what I thought. And we still haven't tweaked the back blade yet on this uh, Invisibase. base. So now I'm at a crossroads. Do I keep the base as it is? And stop tweaking because you already know that it's possible to over tweak a base and render it useless. Or should I go further and, and begin to tweak the back blade of this base to perhaps get more out of it? Don't know yet. Let's run it again. Looks good. Looks, looks really good right now. I don't know. So, what are your thoughts? I'm Mo. Thanks for watching.